Welcome everybody to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Rebecca Red, and today I'm learning the ABCs of bone fishing on the fly with some of the best guides in the world at the Black Fly Lodge in Abaco Island. It's going to be a great show. Stay tuned. Be right back. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Schooner Bay, Bahamas. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first waiting staff and net. The new Fly Fisher crew flew three hours from Toronto to Nassau followed by a quick hop to the growing community of Schooner Bay on Abaco Island. Blackfly Lodge is the centerpiece of this developing area with its beautiful lodge, superb bone fishing, amazing staff and guides. Blackfly Lodge is truly a gem of a destination. Before embarking on a bone fishing adventure, it is imperative that you do your part by making sure your casting is up to the challenge. Clint and the guides at Blackfly help fine tune your casting but to truly get the most out of this once-in-a-lifetime experience, you should do your part and know how to double haul into the wind. So when your guide puts you into the Perfect. fish, okay. you can get your fly on the mark. All right, Becca, we've got some bonefish that are pushing quite a ways away. They're probably a hundred yards away. I can see them pushing now. So as we approach them, it's going to be important that you know how far they are and where they're at, distance okay. and, and uh, direction. So I'm going to always call both of those things for you. The tip of the boat, the bow there, is always 12 o'clock. 9 right. o'clock is over here to the left and 3 o'clock to the right. And in between, today because it's so calm, we're going to have to lead the fish a little bit more than usual. Okay. Because they will see the line coming, they'll hear it. But we want to probably lead them about, about 6 or 8 feet. I have fish over here, three fish over at 10 o'clock, 50 feet, uh, 10 feet off the shoreline. Yep, see them? This is where you need to use that hull. Go. Put it right in front of them. You got it. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. You need more line. Go left. Go left. One more time. Drop it. Strip it. Strip, 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 strip. Strip. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Strike. Clear your line quickly and keep your hand away to avoid the knuckle brashing charge of these fast swimmers. <laughs> Bonefish are a saltwater species that are sometimes referred to as the ghost of the flats. They are a fast moving and hard fighting fish that will excite any angler who can get them on the hook. When bonefish strike, it isn't a normal hook set like a trout. You need to listen to your guide and get used to the side set. Pull the line tight and give a couple of hard pulls sideways, not up. Be sure to listen to your guide as they have the knowledge to help land your bonefish and be able to take that photo that will keep the memory with you for a lifetime. Wow. He goes that way, you point the opposite direction. Fighting them on the rod and reel and changing to the opposite side the fish is running is the best way to wear them out quickly and get them to hand so they can be revived and released promptly. Oh, wow. Strong rods in the eight and nine weight category are a must. Large arbor reels will help pick up the line quickly and a good drag system will allow you to enjoy the multiple runs wow. into your backing that bonefish are known for. Look at him! Yeah, you stay on the hook there. Awesome. Okay. Oh, he's so 
so gorgeous. Wet your hands so as not to remove the protective coating that helps guard them from the sun. Keep the fish in the water and hold them gently until they're ready to swim away on their own power. <laughs> yes! Thank you, fish gods. Thank you, Clint. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. My first boat. We're a world-class fishing destination. And on top of that, we're a world-class lodge. So some people never get the chance to do this more than once in their life. So we want to make sure that their experience is the ultimate experience. When they get out there to make the memories that they've come to make, you know, we want to make sure that we help them do that. Incredible, incredible facility. Um, great lodge, incredible food and uh, the guides are second to none, really, really good guides. Well, I think the accommodations are beautiful. I think uh, everything is very well run. I mean, you couldn't really ask for anything nicer. They make you feel right at home. When folks come to Blackfly Lodge, they come here for a fishing experience, and um, they come thinking that they're going to get a, a quality experience as a client. Throughout the week, um, whether the fishing is good or not, they begin to, uh, I think, come to a place where their, their, their heart and soul and mind starts to rest. They start to have a great time with the staff. They start to have a great time with each other. And this starts to become really like a home. And there's an intimacy that develops, I think, where um, our clients, our clients uh, leave here um, with a lot more than the fishing experience. Um, they leave here uh, with friendship. Um, they leave here with uh, with some of that mystical stuff that you can't really explain in, in, in the fishing world, particularly in the fly fishing world. And I think that's, that's the essence of what the experience is here. It's much more than fishing. Because we have, we have folks all the time that maybe the weather was bad, the fishing wasn't that great, and they want to rebook right away. Because there's something, there's something else here. And, um, and, and that's what we're working toward. It's the stuff you get from family. That is the common thread, that's the common um, compliment and comment that we get from most people when they stay here. They feel like they're at home. And that's great. That's what we aspire to be, is to make people feel comfortable and like they're at home. But we kind of want the world to know that Schooner is a place to bring the family and create memories. And really what it's about, we want you to come here and fall in love with the place and, and be part of the community and part of the family. Um, and, and that's really what it is. I mean, we're not a branded, gated, programmed resort where people come and expect the cruise director to tell them what to do every couple hours. You come here and you kind of figure it out for yourself and, and you enjoy the community and consume the place as it's intended. So, you know, what, what's missing or what my message continues to be is, is we're a real place. Come have a real vacation, create real memories, and, and you'll, you'll, all, you'll, you'll always come back. The equipment you need to bring to Blackfly uh, would include uh, an eight weight or a nine weight for bonefish and a 10 or 11 weight for uh, permit. The, the leaders uh, are 12 pound tippet for bonefish, 16 to 20 pound for permit. And the reels need to be carefully chosen because you, you, you need to come with a large arbor reel because these fish move so quickly and come back at you so quickly that you need to pick up line really, really well. And your, 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 your reel has to have a very smooth drag system or you, you're gonna watch it explode on you. Flies that we use here for our bonefish typically mimic shrimp or crabs. And we find that our fish here uh, eat sparsely. So they're very simple patterns, very sparsely tied. Uh, the trick is to get it in front of the fish, present it properly, and then tease them in to take the fly. 
host and producer of the new fly fisher, Colin McEwen, joined me on my second day on the water with head guide Paul. It wasn't long until Paul had us on cruising fish and Colin was able to hook up from the stern of the boat. Yes! So the rod is bent to the right, fish is to the left, keep it tight, it's reeling, it's coming right at you, right towards the boat, wow, keep it tight, keep it tight, and run, ho oh, ho ho, it's a nice fish, nice fish. Into the backing. Again, it's the second backing run. I'm glad you told me, Rebecca, to go and be a tail gunner on the back of the boat in case the school got by you. I'm glad I did too. Look at this. Another Bahama bonefish. I wonder if he's going to run again. There he goes, a little bit more. Still has some energy. Now, one thing I did, Rebecca, that's important to remember, I had him reeled in to the end. Mm -hmm. What I did was I pointed the rod directly at him so when he ran that the knot would get past him and not snap off the leader at the top. Duly noted, that's a good point. These fish are so strong when they run. This guy's almost back into my backing again. Wow. Yeah, I am. Hey, we're going to... Follow. How's it feel, Colin? Horrible. <laughs> How can anybody enjoy this? <laughs> There's snow and ice back home, and I'm in this beautiful water. Yeah. Playing a beautiful fish. That would kick the butt of almost any freshwater fish around for its size. Sir Paul, what do you want me to do? He's gonna take him by the leader. Having a good guide, casting techniques, timing, it's so important. All right, sweet fish. Beautiful fish. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay, make a cast. One more back, right in front of you. A little more to your right, they're coming back at you. Right there, drop. Okay, strip, strip, long strip, long strip. He ate it, long strip, long strip. There he is, let him run. Just, just crank as he slows up. Point your rod tip out to your left for me. Yeah. Okay, crank, he's still. Just keep reeling. Keep reeling, he's, he's coming back at you. Okay. When you feel like you want to run, just. Okay, reel. Yeah. We're great. Yeah. What you want to do is just lean, lean it into you. Okay. And what that does is that, that helps to bring the fish right. toward the boat. Wow, look at his color. Oh, Paul, I'm beyond thrilled. This is, look at this. This is my second bonefish of the show. It's this All right. beautiful Bahama bonefish. So we handle them nice underneath mm -hmm. the belly. Yes. And as you can see, the blue in the tail, the tip of the tail and on the fins, that's when they get light up, when they're excited. We'll go back in. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they have very powerful jaws for yes. picking up crustaceans and crabs and crushing the... If you, if you look right within his mouth, 
um, what you'll see on his tongue is there's actually almost like little rocks. And wow, up, look at and, that, they're like grinding pads. Yeah, grinding pads, even if you place your finger right there, you just put your finger in there and you'll feel. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And that's what they use pretty much to crush the um, crabs. They so also they... eat clams. Wow. Um, and so they, they, they can crush the shells of clams. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, let's let this guy free. Turn him to me a little bit. All right. Okay. Just pop that out of there. Release. We're gonna do a nice little quick release. Can we get it up. Here we All go. Right. And he's ready to go. Just put him Here. in. Here. I'm a bonefish. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's do it again. When you come fly fishing in, in, in the tropics, anywhere you're, you're saltwater fly fishing, you've got to realize it's, it's, a, it's a very different challenge than it is on a river or a lake. So your casting is absolutely critical. And I would su suggest that anyone that comes down here or go is anywhere fishing for saltwater fish take the time if they if they're not proficient with their casting go to a, a fly shop and take some lessons and learn to double haul and practice it everybody says they know how to double haul but they don't practice in the wind so wherever you're from find some wind practice 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 double hauling your experience will be so much more enjoyable because you're always dealing with wind you're always dealing with fish on the move so it's, it's distance and accuracy that will increase your chances of hookups. And, and your reward will be great, but um, you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta have that down. I mean, we can work on your casting while you're here, but it's like changing your golf swing in the middle of a round. Uh, we'd, it'd be much easier if you worked on that before you got here, and then we could help tweak. But it, everything's different. The, the, the move is different. The, uh, where you position the rod, it's all to the side. Uh, the, Everything's different about saltwater fly fishing. It's a different game. So you got to come prepared for that different game. Oh my gosh. Okay, Paul, let it run. Wow. Okay, yeah, he, my gosh, it's into the backing. Okay, now reel. As soon as I feel that slack, let it go. Reel. Reel, reel. All right. And then run again. Oh my gosh. Wow. These are powerful fish. Okay. Keep reeling. And let him go. As soon as I feel him run, let him go. Okay. Just gonna put the butt into the butt of the rod into me. To give me more leverage to reel. Is that okay, Paul? Keep. Okay. Yeah, and there he is. I can see him. Beautiful. Boy, he's a nice fish. Nice fish. Keep that line nice and tight. There he goes. Okay, we bend the rod to the left as he goes right. Keep that line tight. He's gonna run again. Wow, you know, such a small, small looking fish compared to other fish and the power that these fish have. I'm absolutely in awe. I'm in awe. Wow, I never knew that they'd have this much power. Oh my gosh. Okay, reel and bow as he's going left, I turn right. There we go. Keep that line tight. Wow, this is an adrenaline rush if there ever was one. Everything's in check, Paul? I'm doing this right? Okay. Okay, just a little bit, keep it. Here he comes, I can't keep up with him. Oh. 
Wow! It's coming right at me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is crazy. This is a dream come true right here. Yeah. It's all thanks to this great guides like Paul that get me into fish like this and teach me the techniques and, and the casting that I need to get this kind of fish. All right. Oh my goodness. This here, the fish is probably six pounds. Wow. So Paul, these fish get up to over um, around 10? Well, well over 10. Well um, over 10. And this is a six. record is about 16 pounds, 16 to 18 pounds. I am so impressed. This is a six pound fish. This is, this is huge to me. This is absolutely epic. Dream come true. I've never fly fished for bonefish or saltwater fish for that matter. And the guides at the Black Fly Lodge got me onto the fish like this. This is a fish of a lifetime right here. I never thought that this would happen and it did. That was beautiful. Thank you, sweetheart. Beautiful bone. I just had the most incredible week here in the Bahamas at the Black Fly Lodge. I've learned so much about bone fishing on the fly, and I hope you did too. For more information, visit our website, www.thenewflyfisher.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Schooner Bay, Bahamas. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the New Fly Fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook.